evening, everyone. Brian Sullivan here with River City Presents. Uh, this is our third episode. We're still kind of in a holding pattern before River City Festivals can get events up and running again. But we have missed being able to bring some of the amazing breweries, distilleries, and wineries from all across Virginia uh, directly to you that you don't get a chance to try otherwise. We've got one of those amazing uh, ones with us here this evening. It's going to be Chesapeake Bay Distillery based in Virginia Beach. They were originally founded in 2005, and they started with their flagship vodka, which is one of my favorites, the Blue Ridge Vodka. You see it right here. And they've got a lot of other amazing products as well that they're gonna be talking about this evening. I've got Nina and Kiki uh, joining us from the Tasting Room in Virginia Beach. Ladies, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Well. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm doing well. I understand you all had some storms there today that have left you. I, I think they're on their way to us right now. Oh, they were, they were powerful. Get buckle up. <laughs> but now it's sunny here at the beach, so we're ready yeah. to have some cocktails. Okay, well, perfect opportunity for us to, to see what you've got. So let's looks like you've got the bar lined up with a lot of your products and, and some uh, cocktails as well. Yes, let's see. First, we're going to start, and we'll turn my camera here so that way you can see our drinks. We're going to, we do, this is how when we come in for a tasting, we do a tasting flight. You get to pick four different drinks that you want to try. And we have poured out some here today for you already to see what they're made of and to try. The first one is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The second one is called the RVA Cooler. The third one is our very popular Pungo Mule. Lastly, we have the Skyline. These are all proud favorites and that's why we want to share them with y'all tonight. We start off, we have I think nine products. We start with our Blue Ridge Vodka. Like Bron was saying earlier, it is our flagship vodka. And we started in 2005, which is a really clean, pure vodka made here in Virginia. Our next one is the ghost pepper vodka. It is made with the Blue Ridge vodka, and we infuse about two ghost peppers per bottle. Still really smooth, and you get that little bit of heat in the back of your throat. Um, but it's just enough that you can taste it in Bloody Marys. It's another good one. Anything tropical, anything ginger ale, ginger beer, it's, it's surprisingly um, versatile. Don't be afraid of the of the name Ghost Pepper. Just give it a shot. And the next one is our lemon. It also has the base of the Blue Ridge vodka. We hand squeeze eight to ten lemons. So it's like a lemonade, lemon drop, really refreshing in the summer. I like to actually mix that one with a shot of ghost pepper in it so you get that little heat at the end. The next one is our mutiny vodka. It's our first breadfruit vodka, our sister distillery in St. Foy. So that one's made out of breadfruit. The next one is Chicks Beach Rum. It is a white rum um, made, named after Chicks Beach here at Virginia Beach. Then we have the Four Farthings Spice Rum. It has in it allspice, cinnamon, lemon zest, vanilla, and nutmeg. And it's not overly sugared, so it's a really, really yummy spice vodka. Spice rum, sorry. The next one is our Curo Coffee Liqueur. It tastes like a cold brew coffee, but has a rum base. It's really good. You can do a white Russian. You can add it to your coffee. Just drink it with <laughs> ice. We like it all those ways. The last three that we have is the Dr. Stoner's line. We actually distill these for Dr. Stoner. We produce them here. He's a retired dentist out of Winchester that came up with the herbs that are in each one of them. There are 19 herbs, and there's a vodka, a whiskey, and a tequila. The whiskey also has about four extra herbs that we char to give it that smoky flavor. And then the end one is the tequila. We can do margaritas with it. it That's a, it's a blue agave tequila imported from Jalisco, Mexico. It is, it's delicious. We also, in these times, are doing hand sanitizer, and we do have those for sale too. We have them in half gallons or as a spray. So if anybody is interested, when you come into our tasting room, we are trying to keep everything sanitized, wear masks, and all that social distancing, so you can still come and visit us. We also, the new product for Dr. Stoner's line is the CBD oils. We have a ginger and a blood orange. They are really good to add in the drinks. They are water soluble, so that way it doesn't sit on top of your drink. It actually mixes in. You can take them just by themselves, or you can mix them in a drink. You can, there's lots of recipes online on that one if you wanted to try anything like that out. 
So Nina, that's that's a heck of a product line up there. You, it takes a good 10 seconds just to scroll through it there with the phone. Um, that, that is an amazing yes, lineup. Yes, we do have a really large lineup. And it gives people that are visiting the tasting room an opportunity to know that there's something there for them. You know, some people say, well, I just like this or I just like that. And we've got something for every taste bud, so it's kind of fun. And you can so try them straight when you come in or mix as a cocktail. We do, when you come into the tasting room, we have a mixed cocktail with each of our products. So you don't have to drink it straight if you think that you won't like it straight or you're not used to drinking that much. We do mix them too. So these are all available for purchase in your tasting room. Uh, I, I saw today, I was on your website. It looks like everything, including the CBD, is available through the website as well. Is that still available for delivery? Yes, in Virginia only. For right now, they have still changed the laws um, in the state of Virginia. They haven't switched anything back where we can't ship yet. So we can still ship in the state of Virginia only, though. Or you can purchase in the ABC stores, all of them. Now, is that everything? Is the CBD, can that be purchased in the ABC stores as well? Or is that just in the tasting room and online? For now, it's my understanding it's tasting room and online. I'm not exactly sure where their distribution will go, but that's, that's in development. Okay, so ex exclusive uh, uh, options there. there. So good, good, reason, right. good reason to come see you. And, or and I will have the, them at any events that I do with you there at River City. You could purchase them at the events also when we start those back up with you. I'll have those at the table you can purchase. Yeah, which will hopefully be soon. We've got, I think the next one we've got you scheduled for is September 5th uh, when, when we're back in Richmond, back at uh, the Stony Point Mall there. So we are, we are hoping to be able to hold that event. Um, and, uh, We're looking forward to it. I'll be yeah. there. <laughs> we've, we've been missing you. So, well, some of those cocktails that you, that you had uh, lined up, can you tell me a little bit more about those? What's, what's in them? Sure. Yeah, let me sure switch is. my camera here, and we'll put up a little card, too, that we're doing these new little shelf talker cards for the ABC. They do have a QR code on them when you go to the ABC. You can scan it, and it'll actually give you the recipe and show you how to make it also. And I'm glad that you mentioned our website because we're working on revamping it to have, uh, well, obviously products for sale, but also links to the, the videos and recipes so we can be a little more uh, interactive. Because the experience in the tasting room is super interactive and fun, and we're working on having our website and social media reflect that as well. Um, so this first drink, this one right here, is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, and that's a new one. Um, it's a, our, made with our Blue Ridge Vodka, and we use sparkling grapefruit soda. We really liked the Izzy brand, like the brands that are featured on the card are the ones that we use to make it, but you can, you can do your own thing, but you gotta use Blue Ridge. That's what's gonna make it awesome. So it's Blue Ridge Vodka, a sparkling grapefruit soda, uh, the Lime LaCroix, and if you wanna get fancy, you can rim the glass with a little bit of salt and sip it on a hot day. It's going to be incredibly refreshing. So that's one of the newer drinks um, in our tasting room experience. And that one is shown when you go in to purchase the Blue Ridge or um, if you come in here to purchase, you can scan that QR code and it actually shows us making the drink. Oh, right. that's the, through, the, through the QR code. So it's, it's not just the ingredient list. It's got, uh, we get to have a drink and visit with you all as well. I like that. It's a, a link to a mini uh, mixologist lesson. <laughs> the QR code. Nice. All right, you ready sure. for the next one? Absolutely. All right, the second one is our RVA cooler. And that is made with our Chicks Beach rum. Use fresh watermelon chunks, the Chicks Beach rum, fresh squeezed lime, and a little bit of frozen strawberry. And we throw a little bit of mint in there too, and you blend it and serve. And that one is also another very refreshing summer drink. We're trying to think about local fruit and refreshing drinks that are gonna make make you feel good. So that is the RVA cooler. That's the second one. And that one's the same way we're doing those QR codes on that one. It'll mm -hmm. show the drink being made also here at the distillery. So when you scan it, you get to have that experience. You can purchase the products and then scan it and watch it being made at the same time you make it. All right, so the Pungo Mule has been on our menu for the longest time and it really is a crowd favorite, especially when we get those fresh strawberries, it's the way to go. Um, so you start by muddling the mint and strawberries together, add a little bit of ghost pepper uh, and Blue Ridge and top it off with ginger beer. And that's another incredibly refreshing um, drink for summertime. And we're really, again, trying to source local products 
and um, feature things that are also easy for people to get and make at home. The last one, it's another little combo drink. Um, this one's called the Skyline, and you muddle three black blackberries, add some ice. We're gonna throw in some of our lemon liqueur and our Blue Ridge vodka, and top it off with a little bit of club soda, and you are good to go. So that's the lineup, and you'll see these QR codes on the Shelf Talkers and ABC stores. Um, Hopefully we'll have them out there in the next couple weeks that we're, that's what we're adding in the ABCs. Well, that's fantastic. Are they all, are all, all those recipes are available on your website uh, now in the meantime? Um, I think those are starting to be loaded up. We do have, which one's The on Pongo there? Mule is definitely on there. And I believe that we, we kind of just wrapped shooting. Uh, <laughs> Like last the week, mule so they'll be on is on too. there already. So if you go to our website not now, it will be on there. So the rest are coming soon. Okay. Very cool. Now the I gotta say, one of my favorite products of you all's, uh, you mentioned it before, is is the ghost pepper uh, vodka. Yes. Um, that one I've I've had it with Bloody Marys before. I've had it mixed with a few other things. Honestly, I like it just on the rocks. You know, kind of have like a meat and cheese set up with, with it. Just slowly sip it. Uh, it's it's an enjoyable end of the evening product. That is one of our favorites. Yeah. Just a couple cubes of ice, or if you want club soda in it, that's just the way to drink it. And it's really fun in the tasting room because people say, "Oh no, I don't like those. It's too hot. It's too hot." And then I'm like, "Challenge on. Okay, it's time. You got to try it because it's a delayed heat. It's about a five second delay. It's a back of the throat heat. It doesn't burn your eyes, your nose. It's it just works with everything." Anything that you could use regular vodka with, ghost pepper works, and I think better. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Even the lemon. Yes. Now, I see you have the lemon, Brian, too. You have to put a shot of it in with the lemon. That's one of my yeah. favorites. Oh, mix mix the two together is what you're saying. Mix the mix two the, together. Mix the lemon and the, oh, no, that's a good idea. Okay, you I would have thought that. You can make that skyline drink that we showed here at the end, the one with the blackberry in it. You can do the skyline and then do a shot of the ghost pepper in it. That's really good. I like that. Well, you guys have enough of a product line up there. You uh, pro probably got about a thousand or so different options of, of putting everything together. It's hard to keep the menu small um, because there are so many favorites too. I mean, people will come in and say, do you have key lime pie? Or do you, you know, do you have the tropical ghost? And we have to rotate the menu out just to keep things fresh. But it's nice to know that people are paying attention enough to know some of our signature drinks and, and come and get them. Well, that's fantastic. I like it. Now, that's quite an impressive backdrop that you've got behind you there. Uh, I, was, I was about to say about yes, the, I was the scan distillery out right here behind you, right? You. This is our distillery right now. We're a little bit, have boxes and stuff from producing products, but we're moving some things around. Those are our tequila barrels, and we're going to have bourbon barrels sitting there. This is when you come in, it's through a glass, so you can actually see the steel and everything while we're making and producing products. You can see our Dr. Stoners, we're boxing up products. We have boxes, so a lot of it you can't see right at the moment, but it's a really nice when you come in and you can sit at our tasting bar and also look at everything being made and how it's made. And when you come in, we just did our new sign here at the beginning. Yeah, we modified our logo a little bit to represent the mountains and the beach. And uh, this was installed about two weeks ago. So it's, it's more of a work of art. We're really happy with that. So you get the Blue Ridge Mountains from the Virginia and you get the ocean wave in the front with the red bird. I think if you do a shot of the, of the pepper vodka, of the ghost pepper vodka, that's, that's what you initially see as well, right? That's right. That's when you just see the ocean waves. And this I'm going to show you a quick if you, I don't know if you can see it, but that is our menu and it shows the prices of each bottle and also shows right now what is on our tasting room to try, which um, cocktails we have. So how many, um, I, I see the, the distillery and the, everything back there behind you. How, how many of these products are you all able to distill at any one time? So it's a, well, you get the pot still and you have the continuous still. So I think we can do two at a yeah, time. Yeah, I think two at a time in the process and then um, 
And then of course, in the bourbons and things like that, it's aging, but to actually distilling process, we can only have one in the, and then having one ready. Although okay. producing hand sanitizer has changed the schedule up quite a bit. <laughs> so yes, we focused now. there for a while just on the hand sanitizer. So we had lots of that and we run short even in the ABCs of stock. So, but now we are getting everything back. So hopefully if you go to your local ABC and they don't have it, make sure you ask them for it. So, so are you all still manufacturing the, the hand sanitizer as well? I know yes, a lot of distilleries, we are. they did that during the shutdown and then they, they stopped, but you all are still making it. We're still making it. We're still getting orders for it. Um, we have it here. We can sell it, all that. Yeah, we've got a lot of the two ounce um, individual sprays available online and in the shop. And that has become a staple around here for sure. Yeah. We do also in the distillery, we do sell um, Krabby Mary and Sassy Mary, which is a local company here also, Ashburn Sauce Company. So we mix those with the Ghost Pepper Vodka or our Blue Ridge Vodka or the Dr. Stoner's line, but you can also purchase that here from us, but it is through Ashburn Sauce Company that's made here in Virginia Beach also. So you want to talk about a killer Bloody Mary. That crabby mix and the ghost pepper will change your life. The the Dr. Stoner's line. Um, so let's let's talk about that for a moment. So you mentioned that you distilled it there, uh, but that's that's is that solely a Chesapeake Bay Distillery product, or is that a partnership? Um, Dr. Stoner himself came up with the recipe, but we actually distilled it for him. Um, so it is a partnership on that aspect of it. We actually, we're the only place that produces it. We are the distillery on it, but he came up with the herbs for the taste and the smell. Okay. Yeah, so the flavoring so, is proprietarily Dr. Stoner's for sure. Okay, so you might not be able to, to answer these next questions. You might keep them pretty pretty close uh -oh. to you about that. Uh -oh. So, But those are obviously, they're called Dr. Stoner's. You mentioned the flavoring and the, and the herb profile. So uh, it's obviously not uh, THC based um but is it um is it like cbd and and hemp based or that type of thing or it's just kind of he concocted no it's just all the natural herbs together that give it that smell and taste the 19 herbs just give it that's what he came up with um there's nothing okay. illegal in it so if you have any drug tests or anything it's not on us it's right. not from us you can drink all you want to of it um but it does have the certain smell and taste of it but that's just the herbs itself Oh, well, it took a while that, that, for him to. It took a few incarnations got me cool. to mimic it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> it took a while to come up with the flavor composite, but the vodka is very quite botanical, and there are certain notes that just come out a little bit more in the flavoring for the vodka versus the whiskey and the tequila. So while it's the same herbs, different concentrations, and um, a, a different focus for each spirit. Okay. Okay, well that's fantastic. Well, I, what else? Um, you know, tell tell us a little bit more about about Chesapeake Bay, about the area there, about you know how you all are operating in these kind of COVID times. Um, Where'd you go? Oh, there, you are. Oh, there we okay. are. Sorry, we had a. <laughs> well, we I mean we shut the doors probably the end of March, and that's when we started to do the um, hand sanitizer, and that was really quite an education because we had to do a 180. We had to procure materials in a time where it was really difficult to get bottles and pumps and sprays um, and come up, follow, make sure we we're following the guidelines of the World Health Organization. Um, and then we just got into a group with it and we were still creating, uh, producing spirits, but the tasting room was closed. So we had to get creative there. So we would host pop-up events where we would be serving outside, a couple of signature drinks, drinks to go. We started to do deliveries and uh, the FedExes as well, and then curbside pickup. So it really has been a, an interesting couple of months, but it was a really amazing learning experience and also just to see how creative we can get and how versatile we can be, because that's all you can do now in, in this time, because from day to day, yeah, it, things are changing that quickly. So we're really happy now that the tasting room is open. In order to keep our patrons safe, we're limiting the capacity to eight people. So we literally have separated our eight stools into four quadrants. Um, and if people come in with a party of four, we make it work. Uh, we have hand sanitizer available for them to use. 
and we are completely sanitizing the show, the bar, the chair, the stools as soon as people leave, and then welcome the next group of patrons in. And it's been a little slow, but I think that's also been because it's been 100 degrees outside and people are not <laughs> leaving the house. So we need to remind everybody that our tasting room offers you refreshing beverages to come enjoy. And then you can take them home with you and sit in your air conditioner at home and drink them. That's right. No, that reminded me. We did start to sell some mixer bottles. People would always say, I want to be able to make this at home. And we'd give them the recipe. And some people don't want to go through all that trouble. So what we did for some of our more popular drinks is make the actual mixer in a 750 bottle, but they have to add the alcohol. So we can't sell we'll it like show that. you some of yeah. those so you know what they look like. feature different ones each week but the key lime pie is a huge favorite so this is all of the ingredients with the exception of the Blue Ridge vodka so people can take this home a bottle of Blue Ridge and recreate the key lime pie experience at home and also the mango madness that was a new one that's one of the new ones that people at events haven't tried yet Oh, we'll have to bring that out. Yes. The painkiller, which is an old reliable. And we also have the Springfield smoothie, which is a strawberry colada. And like I said, you just buy those. You can take them home by the purchase of our spirits that you want to mix in with it. And then you can have the complete at home. All right. Well, those look fantastic. I'll tell you what, I am... Uh, definitely going to do some sampling myself this evening with the three Chesapeake uh, Bay Distillery products that I have here. Uh, I invite everyone to next time you're in Virginia Beach or anywhere near Virginia Beach, please swing by and check out Chesapeake Bay Distillery. Check out their tasting room there. Of course, in the meantime, uh, you can get any of their products at ABC stores across Virginia. You can order everything direct, ship through their website online at chesapeakebaydistillery.com. Uh, and at the next River City Festivals event, we will have every single one of these there for you and pretty much most of the cocktails as well. So ladies, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining tonight. Thank you for giving us this tour and this special upfront. Cheers. Cheers and Cheers. try to stay cool. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers, see you soon. Bye. -bye.